Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy VII walkthrough. Um, so in the last video, I actually, um, and it, this might be a little confusing, but uh, the last video right at the end, I, um, <clears throat> I went up to this uh, vending machine and, uh, and already did this stuff. So uh, if this looks familiar, that is because uh, I was so bothered that I missed out on the uh, the hard edge, uh, which is a, is a, a weapon for Cloud, that I went back and redid all of my, uh, uh, basically started all the way over. Um, and that's because I'm, I've got some OCD, and it was literally bugging the crap out of me. So, okay, maybe not literally. I didn't have to go to the bathroom because it bothered me so bad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyways, all right, so in this uh, locker room here, <clears throat> if you noticed, uh, Cloud says something like, uh, you know, there's a mi microphone and uh, there's no sense in taking it. Uh, I actually find that extremely annoying uh, because in this specific instance, that's an item, that's a weapon actually, for a character that we don't have yet. Now that's not some weird rule in Final Fantasy VII where you can't pick up an item that, uh, you know, for a character that you don't have yet. There's tons of instances in the game where you can get weapons for characters that you don't have. So, my guess is uh, they just wanted to throw that in there um, because it was, I would guess it's more powerful or um, it's likely so powerful that they didn't want you to have it super early. That's my guess. Um, but anyways, all right, so on to the, is this the 65th floor? I missed this. <clears throat> Sorry, missed it. Uh, but anyways, the, the goal of this floor is uh, actually to go into the center room. And uh, I believe just by stepping inside the room, I don't know that you actually have to uh, interact with the, the model of Midgar or not. I'm not sure on that. But um, uh, basically what ends up happening then is one of the treasure chests on the floor... Uh, gets unlocked and uh, it's I, I believe it's completely random uh, and uh, what what you end up doing then is uh, finding the correct treasure chest opening it up and then it will have basically parts of the model inside uh, and then you just take the parts to the model itself and uh, and then interact with it and it should uh, kind of fill in one of the spots I guess you could say so here you are, uh, the Midgar parts, and let's bring it into the model, and alright, so let's throw this here, place the Midgar parts. I think you might actually have to walk up to the different, and it looks like it, uh, that you have to walk up to the different areas uh, on the, uh, the model to place the parts. It doesn't seem like it matters what spot you walk up to, uh, other than this spot right here, this... Uh, I'd say the the one on the left side here, uh, just down from where Cloud is standing at right now, right there. Um, <clears throat> I don't believe that that spot ever gets filled in, uh, and I think that was by design. Uh, I actually assume that is representative of uh, Sector 7. That's my guess, anyway, uh, because uh, obviously the plate is, is destroyed. Um, and there is no more Sector 7. So that's my takeaway, anyway, from this uh, this little spot. But, um, yeah, so anyways, once we get all of the parts put back into the model here, we will be able to continue on. The, the last uh, treasure chest actually contains uh, the key card for the next floor. And I believe that's key card 66. So let's, uh, yeah, yeah, here we are. Yeah, we are on uh, floor 65 here. So, um, uh, anyways, let's, let's jump ahead just a little bit and explain a little bit about, uh, the upcoming floors. Now, uh, obviously, like I, like I mentioned actually earlier, the, the, um, the hard edge is one of the items, uh, that's actually a steal from one of the enemies on, uh, I believe I ran into the soldier thirds on the 67th floor. I think that's where I spent my time, uh, hunting them at. Here's the key card, by the way. So let's head on up, because we are done here. Uh, but anyways, like I said, so I think that's where I uh, fought them at. 
And uh, I also stole a bunch of carbon bangles. I believe I cut out a lot of the footage uh, of me stealing those just because I didn't... Um, I mean, I had okay luck, but it took a, a fair amount of time and I didn't want to, you know, I don't know, have all of it on screen. There's definitely uh, some footage of me, you know, stealing those. I wanted to, I wanted to at least get that on on screen for you, just so you could see exactly what the enemies look like, as well as, um, well, I don't know if the my steal rates weren't impressive by any means, but uh, we got the job done, so... <clears throat> uh, anyways, you know, like I said, I wanted to get that uh, on screen for you uh, to kind of verify that was actually, it was funny, it was really bothering me. I was like, you know, the, the thing with the hard edge, and I believe even the carbon bangle, uh, I believe they're uh, both obtainable later on in the game, but, um, you know, and I had already got a bunch of the carbon bangles, so I was fine there, but I didn't actually uh, find the enemy that uh, had the hard edge. Um, I just... You know, wasn't lucky, I guess, uh, in in uh, my random encounters, and so I progress too far, which I'll I'll point out once again, uh, is actually after uh, the I would say like the the jail or the yeah we'll just call it the jail cell uh, scene. Um, so after that point, uh, the enemies change, and um, you won't actually be able to run into the enemies that uh, uh, that. I believe actually either of the enemies, uh, the one obviously is Soldier Third, the one that has the hard edge, as well as the uh, I think it's the Moth Slasher, uh, which is the enemy that has the uh, Carbon Bangle. So uh, again, uh, I would say you know keep in mind that uh, that can happen, and um, if you really want to get those two items, which I feel like is is extremely worth it, it's extremely worthwhile. Uh, those those pieces of equipment uh, will be. Uh, extremely useful uh, for quite some time yet so keep that in mind uh, but anyways all right so let's let's talk a little bit about um, these folks here in the Shinra boardroom uh, the the man in the top left that's jumping up and down his name is Palmer uh, my impression anyway and if I remember correctly he's the one that runs the space program uh, and then you've got high high digger and Scarlet, uh, Scarlet is uh, the one in the the woman in the red dress. High Digger is the one, and I'm probably High Digger. That, that's what that looks like to me. Or Hey Hey Digger, I don't know. E I sounds like A, right? Neighbor in a way. So it's probably Hey Hey Digger. I don't know. Whatever. Names are names are funky. They don't ever play by the rules. Uh, but anyways, uh, those two are uh, in charge of the weapons program uh, I guess and and I'm not a hundred percent sure here but I think Reeve must be then in charge of the uh, Midgar uh, urban development that's that's my guess and then Hojo lastly here is in charge of the uh, uh, I guess the science division of Shinra uh, that's my that's my impression anyway and that's that's purely based off of uh, I guess what I what I know or what I have known in the past, as well as the uh, the four libraries. Uh, if you remember, I don't, it must have been the last video, I think. Anyway, um, where the mayor is hanging out at, like Scarlet looks up at the vents and says something stinks. It's probably Cloud. He gets sweaty when he gets nervous. <laughs> I can't back that up. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, so like I said, I, I feel like that's the, the roles of all the, the board members. Uh, at least I think that's all of them, if, I, if I'm remember, or remembering correctly. <clears throat> all right, so let's follow them, I think, is uh, the consensus. And uh, if I remember correctly, only Hojo is, yeah. Hojo must be a slow walker. Everybody else has got him destroyed. <laughs> Hojo, huh? Uh, I I feel like Hojo's like your mad scientist type. Uh, I think that's a pretty accurate description of him and his character. Uh, obviously, throughout the game, we will we will run across him and. Uh, that will probably become more obvious over time. 
But, uh, alright, so let's head up here. Creep up, I should say. I remember him. He's in charge of science. Oh, there you go. So there's some verification. He is in charge of the science department. This is the first time I've seen him. Okay. Uh, all right. So anyways, uh, I would say right now is a good time to uh, seek out your hard edge as well as your carbon bangles. Uh, I think the first battle here is the soldier. There they are. All right. So these are the guys. Um, I would say definitely, you know, if you run into two of them, take out one of them first. There's no sense in uh, taking a ton of extra damage, you know, every turn. Uh, and there really isn't much need to steal more than one hard edge. Uh, yeah, they're worth a decent amount of money, but, um, you know, for like, I would say for resale purposes, but I'm not going to, uh, or I've decided not to spend extra time trying to steal more than I needed. Obviously, Cloud is the only one that can equip it, so it didn't uh, make a whole lot of sense to me to keep uh, to keep going. Now, here he did me a little bit of a favor by casting Sleep on Barret. Uh, and wh what I mean by that... Oh, <laughs> there, there, and I stole it right away. Uh, if this would have lasted a little bit longer, that would have been nice, because it, it gets a little annoying having to constantly defend every round, but... Uh, anyways, it was not the case for this battle, so... And there we go. So that is that. Um, <clears throat> I believe I equipped that hard edge right away, which uh, I would definitely recommend. It's a very, very useful weapon and very high attack power. So let's get that equipped. Yeah, it jumps from 18 to 32. That's a really decent upgrade. Uh, and then, you know, if you've got extra materia, you can equip it, but uh, I did not. I didn't... I haven't bought any extra uh, materia, so really I've just been running around with what I've got. Um, okay, and so I think I'm going to run around here a little bit more and uh, get into some battles with uh, Moth Slashers. I feel like this is a really good floor to do all that. You know, if you are interested in stealing uh, the equipment, this, uh, again, I would recommend doing it on this floor. Uh, you don't really want to continue much farther. We've got a boss battle coming up, and, uh, you know, obtaining this gear uh, as early as possible is, I would say, you know, going to you're going to get the most bang out of your buck then. Uh, and here I luckily got into a battle with just one Moth Slasher, so I didn't have to, you know, take extra damage. I would say if you're going to spend the time, though, to steal from these guys... Uh, even if you do get into a, a battle with like two of these, I would say kill off one of them first uh, and then steal from the opposite just because um, if you if you leave two of them alive and uh, you, you know you're specifically trying to steal from them, you're going to end up taking a ton of damage over time um, you know depending on your luck you know you may end up uh, with 20 steal attempts before you get one of these you know so, uh, you may want to just eliminate one of the sources of damage first and then, uh, you know, steal from the remaining Moth Slasher. <coughs> That's my recommendation anyway. Uh, do as you see fit. I actually had Barret equipped with the uh, Restore Materia as well as one of the enemy all materia, actually the only enemy all materia that I had at this point. Um, there's the Carbon Bangle. And you can see their cloud is dealing tons of damage. I mean, he's at two to three times the damage of anybody else at this point. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, what you're actually going to see now, I, I've got a little cut. Uh, right, yeah, basically right here. We'll, uh, we'll equip one of these carbon mangles just so you can see. Uh, there's the defense, 27 and 14 magic defense. So, yeah, a decent little upgrade there. And, you know, the best thing about it is they're free. Um, so here's my cut uh, now. Uh, and so I'm going to just explain a little bit about what happened. So um, basically, this is still my old footage from this point on. Uh, that will uh, overlap at some point one more time. Um, just because, uh, you know, the new uh, playthrough will pick up a bit, but I didn't want to get rid of this old footage. Now, uh, you probably already have noticed Cloud is still equipped with the Buster Sword. Uh, and actually, I, I'm now noticing Tifa has the, the hyper status inflicted on her, so 
Uh, I didn't remember that being the case, but fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, so you'll see here uh, my my current setup will be a little bit different from uh, here on out. <clears throat> Uh, that just mainly being uh, the hard edge, to be honest. That's really the only uh, noticeable difference anyway. So, uh, again, from here uh, up until, uh, I don't know, there's probably about two hours of gameplay. I'm going to use my old or, and original footage just because uh, I didn't really feel like it was all that uh, useful to, uh, you know, make all new footage, I guess. Uh, there's nothing, nothing really else that I missed and whatnot, so. All right. Let's take these guys down with some limits. Look at a nice amount of damage. All righty. Uh, so as far as carbon bangles, now obviously the good thing about them in comparison to the hard edge is that um, everyone can use them. Uh, so I believe I stole enough for everybody. Yeah, here we are. Oh, no, I'm still, I think I'm still missing one here. Yeah, still missing one for Barrett. Uh, I don't remember if I, actually, yeah, I know I, I spent a little bit more time here running around trying to get a, a third one for him. Okay, apparently these guys are not very sociable. Okay. Whatever. Be that way. See if I care. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. I thought I was going to continue on, but I guess not quite yet. I probably wanted to get one more carbon bangle before I moved on. That's my guess. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and there's not much left of this video, so I assume that's uh, that's the plan. Yeah, this looks like a perfect opportunity to get one last uh, carbon bangle. Um, to be honest, though, if you really want to, if you really want to go out of your way, uh, I would actually recommend stealing uh, five total. Um, because, uh, obviously, we've got three characters in the party right now. Uh, and then we've got, uh, Eris will be rejoining us, uh, shortly, as well as one brand new character. And so, uh, that being said, obviously, you know, you can, you can only ever have, uh, three characters in battle at a time. So, whether or not you really want to spend the amount of time to do that is up to you, but I feel like, uh, I feel like it was alright just because, um, I didn't want to have to swap gear back and forth. You know, I, I typically like to equip gear and then and leave it on them. So, um, again, though, that's completely up to you if you want to spend the extra time to uh, steal a bunch of extra ones. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I think that's that. I think at this point we'll continue on. And, uh, yeah, we'll be about, be about our merry way. All right, so here's Hojo, and it appears he's looking at a, a test subject. Is this today's specimen? Yes, we're starting right now. Proceed to the upper level. Okay. <clears throat> My precious specimen. Well, we'll see about that. All right, so some goofy looking dog thing. Which, to be honest, he's pretty awesome. I like red. I'm gonna call him red. I think he's actually red 13 or something like that. That's uh, Hojo's designation. And here Cloud looks uh, here at Genova, which this thing is just freaking creepy. Has apparently has no head. And it looked like it had an eyeball on its chest. I don't know. I don't know if that's what that was supposed to be or not. But super creepy. <laughs> Which, I don't know, makes Cloud freak out and fall over, I guess. See what? 
Okay, and here apparently it's still alive. So, uh, pretty crazy. Where's its head? This whole thing's stupid. Let's get going. Um, okay. Super weird dialogue there, but... Uh, all right, anyways, I'm out of time, so uh, I gotta cut the commentary. I, as always, I hope this guide was helpful, and I hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.